The Australian Shepherd, commonly referred to as the Aussie, is a breed of dog that is known for its intelligence, versatility, and herding abilities. Despite its name, the Australian Shepherd did not originate in Australia. The exact origin of the breed is somewhat debated, but it is generally believed that the Australian Shepherd has roots in the Basque region of Europe. In the 19th century, Basque Shepherds from the Pyrenees Mountains in Spain emigrated to Australia, bringing with them their native herding dogs. These dogs were eventually interbred with local Australian working dogs, which resulted in the development of a new breed that became known as the Australian Shepherd. The Australian Shepherd's journey from Australia to the United States is the next significant chapter in its history. In the 20th century, a number of Basque Shepherds and their dogs traveled to the United States to work with livestock in the western states. These dogs quickly gained recognition for their exceptional herding skills and began to attract attention beyond the realm of ranching and farming. The breed's popularity continued to grow, and it eventually acquired the name Australian Shepherd due to its association with the Basque Shepherds who were mistakenly assumed to be from Australia. In 1991, the Australian Shepherd was officially recognized by the American Kennel Club AKC, as a breed. It's important to note that the Australian Shepherd is a distinct breed and is not directly related to the Australian Cattle Dog, also known as the Blue Healer, which is a separate breed that did originate in Australia. The height and weight of an Australian Shepherd can vary depending on factors such as gender, genetics, and individual variation within the breed. Here are some general guidelines. Height. Males, typically range from 20 to 23 inches, 51 to 58 centimeters, at the shoulder. Females, generally fall between 18 to 21 inches, 46 to 53 centimeters, in height. Weight. Males, usually weigh between 50 to 65 pounds, 23 to 29 kilograms. Females, typically weigh around 40 to 55 pounds, 18 to 25 kilograms. It's important to note that these are approximate ranges, and some Australian shepherds may be larger or smaller than the typical measurements. Additionally, there can be variations between working lines and show lines within the breed, with working lines tending to be slightly raising a dog involves a combination of providing proper care, training, socialization, and love. Here are some essential guidelines to help you raise a dog. Provide a safe and comfortable environment. Create a designated space for your dog with a comfortable bed, access to fresh water, and appropriate toys. Ensure that the area is secure and free from hazards. Establish a routine, dogs thrive on routine, so establish a consistent schedule for feeding, exercise, and bathroom breaks. This will help your dog develop good habits and reduce anxiety. Provide a balanced diet. Consult with your veterinarian to determine the appropriate diet for your dog's age, breed, and health needs. Feed your dog high-quality dog food and avoid feeding them harmful foods like chocolate, onions, grapes, and certain types of nuts. Regular exercise. Dogs need regular physical exercise to maintain their health and prevent behavioral issues. Take your dog for daily walks, provide playtime, and engage in activities that match their energy level and breed traits. Socialization. Introduce your dog to various people, animals, and environments from a young age. This helps them become well-adjusted and confident. Enroll your dog in puppy socialization classes and expose them to different sights, sounds, and experiences. Basic training. Teach your dog basic commands like sit, stay, come, and walking on a leash. Use positive reinforcement techniques such as treats, praise, and rewards to encourage desired behavior. Consider enrolling in obedience classes or working with a professional dog trainer if needed. Regular veterinary care. Schedule regular checkups with a veterinarian to ensure your dog's health and well-being. Keep up with vaccinations, flea and tick prevention, and deworming treatments. Address any health concerns promptly. Mental stimulation. Provide mental stimulation through puzzle toys, interactive games, and training sessions. Engaging your dog's mind helps prevent boredom and destructive behaviors. Grooming, regular grooming is important to keep your dog's coat clean and healthy. Brush their fur, trim nails, clean ears, and brush teeth regularly. Certain breeds may require more specific grooming needs, so research your dog's specific requirements. Love and attention, 
Dogs are social animals and thrive on human companionship. Spend quality time with your dog, provide affection, and build a strong bond through positive interactions. Smaller and lighter than show lines. Remember, every dog is unique, and their needs may vary. Pay attention to your dog's individual personality and adjust your approach accordingly. Patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement will go a long way in raising a happy and well behaved dog. Understanding a dog's body language and actions is crucial for effective communication and building a strong bond. Here are some common signs and actions that dogs exhibit and what they may indicate. Tail wagging, contrary to popular belief, a wagging tail does not always mean a dog is friendly. The position, speed, and stiffness of the wag can convey different messages. A relaxed, loose wag generally indicates a friendly and happy dog, while a stiff or high tail wag may signal alertness or potential aggression. Body posture, a dog's posture can convey its emotional state. When a dog is relaxed and content, it will have a loose and neutral body posture. Signs of fear or submission include a lowered body posture, tucked tail, and cowering. Conversely, an upright, rigid posture with raised fur indicates aggression or defensiveness. Facial expressions, dogs communicate a lot through their facial expressions. A relaxed face with soft eyes and a slightly open mouth often indicates a calm and friendly demeanor. A wrinkled forehead, narrowed eyes, or bared teeth can signify stress, fear, or aggression. Ears, the position and movement of a dog's ears provide clues to their emotional state. Ears held forward or relaxed typically indicate a calm and attentive dog. Pinned back or flattened ears can signify fear or anxiety, while raised ears can indicate alertness or excitement. Vocalizations, dogs use a variety of vocalizations to communicate. Barking can have different meanings depending on the context, such as alerting to danger, expressing frustration, or seeking attention. Whining, growling, and howling can also convey different emotions or needs. Eye contact, direct eye contact from a dog can be a sign of confidence or a challenge, while averted eyes may indicate submission or fear. However, it's important to note that individual dogs may have different tendencies and cultural factors can influence eye contact as well. Licking, yawning, and panting, dogs may lick their lips, yawn, or pant in certain situations. Lip licking or yawning can be a stress signal, while panting is a normal way for dogs to cool down. However, excessive or abnormal panting may indicate distress or a medical issue. Body language during play, dogs engage in various body language signals during play. They may initiate a play bow, with their front legs lowered and their hindquarters raised, signaling an invitation to play. They may also use a loose, bouncy gait, wagging tail, and playfully open mouth to indicate a friendly and playful demeanor. It's important to remember that individual dogs may have unique expressions and behaviors, and it's essential to consider the context and overall body language to interpret their signals accurately. If you're uncertain about a dog's behavior or if you encounter signs of aggression or fear, it's best to consult with a professional dog trainer or behaviorist for guidance, determining whether a dog is happy or sad relies on observing their overall body language and behavior. While it can be challenging to ascertain a dog's emotions with complete certainty, there are certain indicators that can suggest their emotional state. Here are some general signs associated with happiness and sadness in dogs. Signs of a happy dog. Relaxed body posture. A dog that is content and happy will exhibit a relaxed body with loose muscles, a neutral tail position, and ears in their natural position. Tail wagging, a gentle and relaxed tail wag, often accompanied by a loose and wiggly body, is generally a sign of a happy dog. Playfulness, dogs often exhibit playful behavior when they are happy. They may engage in play bows, zooming around, and engaging with toys or other animals. Bright and relaxed eyes, a happy dog's eyes are typically bright, relaxed, and have soft expressions. Eager appetite, a healthy and happy dog will have a good appetite and exhibit excitement or enthusiasm during mealtime. Seeking attention and affection, happy dogs often seek interaction, attention, and physical affection from their owners. They may lean against you, nudge you, or wag their tail when you engage with them. Signs of a sad or unhappy dog. Withdrawn behavior, a sad dog may exhibit withdrawn behavior, 
such as seeking solitude, hiding, or avoiding interaction with people or other animals. Decreased appetite or interest, a dog that appears disinterested in food, toys, or activities they typically enjoy might indicate sadness or lack of motivation. Reduced energy or activity level, a sad dog may exhibit decreased energy, lethargy, or a lack of enthusiasm for play or exercise. Avoidance or avoidance behaviors, a dog that avoids eye contact, turns away, or exhibits avoidance. Behaviors, a dog that avoids eye contact, turns away, or exhibits avoidance behaviors when approached or touched may be feeling sad or uncomfortable. Excessive vocalization or whimpering, some dogs may vocalize more than usual when they are feeling sad or anxious, expressing their distress through whining, whimpering, or excessive barking. Changes in body language, a sad dog might display a hunched posture, lowered head, flattened ears, or a tucked tail. It's important to note that these signs are general guidelines, and individual dogs can exhibit variations in their behavior and emotional expressions. Additionally, certain health conditions or environmental factors can influence a dog's mood. If you're concerned about your dog's well-being or notice persistent signs of sadness, it's advisable to consult with a veterinarian or professional dog behaviorist for further evaluation and guidance. Dogs can be susceptible to various diseases and health conditions, just like any other living beings. Here are some common diseases that can affect dogs. Canine parvovirus, parvo parvo is a highly contagious viral disease that primarily affects puppies. It can cause severe gastrointestinal symptoms such as vomiting, diarrhea, often bloody, dehydration, and can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Canine distemper, distemper is a viral disease that affects multiple systems in a dog's body, including the respiratory, gastrointestinal, and nervous systems. It can cause symptoms such as coughing, nasal discharge, fever, vomiting, diarrhea, seizures, and neurological signs. Canine infectious respiratory disease complex, kennel cough kennel cough is a respiratory infection that is usually caused by a combination of viruses and bacteria. It results in a persistent cough, sneezing, nasal discharge, and can lead to secondary complications if left untreated. Lyme disease, Lyme disease is a tick-borne illness caused by the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi. It can cause symptoms such as lameness, joint inflammation, fever, lethargy, and in some cases, more severe complications affecting the heart, kidneys, or nervous system. Canine parainfluenza virus, CPIV CPIV is one of the viruses associated with canine infectious respiratory disease complex, kennel cough. It causes respiratory symptoms similar to a common cold, including coughing, nasal discharge, and fever. Canine leptospirosis. Leptospirosis is a bacterial infection that affects both dogs and humans. It is transmitted through contact with contaminated water or urine of infected animals. It can cause symptoms such as fever, muscle pain, jaundice, kidney failure, and can be potentially fatal. Canine heartworm disease. Heartworm disease is caused by the transmission of parasites known as heartworms through mosquito bites. The worms can grow in the dog's heart and lungs, leading to respiratory and cardiovascular problems if left untreated. Canine arthritis. Arthritis is a common condition in dogs, particularly in older individuals. It involves joint inflammation and can cause pain, stiffness, lameness, and reduced mobility. Canine obesity. Obesity is a significant health concern for dogs and can lead to various complications, such as joint problems, diabetes, cardiovascular issues, and reduced overall quality of life. These are just a few examples of the diseases that can affect dogs. Regular veterinary checkups, vaccinations, preventive measures, such as tick and flea control, proper nutrition, exercise, and a healthy lifestyle can help reduce the risk of many diseases and ensure your dog's overall well-being. It's always important to consult with a veterinarian for personalized advice and to address any specific health concerns for your dog. Some of the diseases that affect dogs can be contagious to humans, while others are not. Here's an overview of the contagious potential and treatment options for the diseases mentioned. Canine parvovirus, parvo parvo is not known to be directly contagious to humans. However, the virus can potentially be carried on clothing, hands, or other surfaces, so it's important to practice good hygiene when dealing with an infected dog. Treatment for parvo typically involves supportive care, 
such as intravenous fluids, anti-nausea medication, and antibiotics to prevent secondary infections. Canine distemper Distemper is not directly contagious to humans. The virus primarily affects dogs and other animals, such as ferrets and raccoons. There is no cure for distemper, so treatment focuses on supportive care to manage symptoms and prevent secondary infections. Vaccination is the most effective way to prevent distemper. Canine infectious respiratory disease complex, kennel cough kennel cough is primarily caused by a combination of viruses and bacteria, some of which can be contagious to humans. The risk of transmission to humans is relatively low, but individuals with weakened immune systems or underlying respiratory conditions may be more susceptible. Treatment typically involves supportive care, rest, and sometimes antibiotics to prevent secondary bacterial infections. Lyme disease Lyme disease is primarily transmitted to humans through infected ticks, not directly from dogs. However, dogs can carry infected ticks into the home or environment, increasing the risk of exposure to humans. If a dog has Lyme disease, it's important to take precautions to prevent tick bites on both dogs and humans. Antibiotics are typically used to treat Lyme disease in both dogs and humans. Canine parainfluenza virus, CPIV CPIV is primarily a respiratory virus that affects dogs and is not known to be contagious to humans. Treatment involves supportive care and management of respiratory symptoms. Canine leptospirosis. Leptospirosis can be transmitted to humans through contact with infected urine or contaminated water. It's essential to take precautions when handling an infected dog's urine or dealing with potentially contaminated environments. Antibiotics are used to treat leptospirosis in dogs and humans. Canine heartworm disease. Heartworm disease is not directly contagious from dogs to humans. It is transmitted through mosquito bites. Prevention through regular administration of heartworm preventives is crucial for both dogs and humans. Treatment for heartworm disease in dogs involves a series of injections to eliminate the adult worms, along with a strict exercise restriction. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional or veterinarian for specific information about the contagious potential of these diseases and the appropriate treatment protocols. They can provide guidance on preventive measures and any necessary medical interventions for both dogs and humans. Dogs require a balanced and nutritious diet to support their overall health and well being. The specific dietary needs of a dog can vary based on factors such as age, size, breed, activity level, and any underlying health conditions. Here are some general guidelines for what dogs eat. Commercial dog food, high-quality commercially prepared dog food is formulated to meet the nutritional needs of dogs. Look for dog food that is appropriate for your dog's life stage, puppy, adult, or senior uh, size, and any specific dietary requirements or sensitivities they may have. Read the labels and choose a dog food that lists meat as the primary ingredient and contains a balanced blend of protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Raw food diet. Some dog owners choose to feed their dogs a raw food diet, also known as a raw or barf diet, biologically appropriate raw food. This diet typically consists of raw meat, bones, organs, fruits, and vegetables. If opting for a raw food diet, it's important to work closely with a veterinarian or a veterinary nutritionist to ensure it is nutritionally balanced and safe. Homemade diet. A homemade diet can be an option, but it requires careful planning and consultation with a veterinarian or veterinary nutritionist to ensure that all nutritional requirements are met. Homemade diets should include a balanced combination of protein, meat, fish, or eggs, carbohydrates, such as rice or sweet potatoes, and vegetables. Nutritional supplements may also be recommended to ensure all essential nutrients are provided. Treats and snacks. Dogs enjoy treats and snacks, but it's important to give them in moderation. Look for treats made specifically for dogs, and avoid giving them human food, as some items can be toxic to dogs. Treats should not exceed 10% of your dog's daily caloric intake to avoid excessive weight gain. Water, access to fresh and clean water is vital for dogs at all times. Make sure your dog has a bowl of water available and regularly change and refill it throughout the day. It's important to note that certain human foods can be toxic to dogs, including chocolate, grapes, raisins, onions, garlic, alcohol, caffeine, and certain types of nuts.
consult with your veterinarian for specific dietary recommendations based on your dog's individual needs. They can provide guidance on portion sizes, feeding frequency, and any necessary dietary modifications.